Vaginal embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. Rhabdomyosarcoma, RMS, represents a rare and aggressive form of soft tissue sarcoma that originates from mesenchymal cells committed to skeletal muscle differentiation. While RMS commonly affects children and adolescents, it can manifest in various anatomical sites, including the vagina. Vaginal embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma is a distinctive subtype of RMS that demands multidisciplinary management and a thorough understanding of its clinical features, diagnostic approaches, and treatment modalities. I. Epidemiology and Risk Factors Vaginal embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma is a relatively uncommon malignancy, accounting for a small percentage of all pediatric and adolescent gynecologic tumors. The exact etiology remains unclear but certain predisposing factors may contribute to its development. Genetic predisposition, exposure to certain environmental factors, and a potential link with the embryonic development of striated muscle cells are areas of ongoing research. 2. Clinical Presentation The clinical presentation of vaginal embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma can vary widely, making early detection and diagnosis challenging. Common symptoms include vaginal bleeding, discharge, pelvic pain, and a palpable vaginal mass. Given the anatomical location and the age group affected, these nonspecific symptoms may be attributed to various gynecologic conditions, necessitating a high index of suspicion for timely diagnosis. 3. Diagnostic Evaluation Histopathological examination remains the gold standard for diagnosing vaginal embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. A biopsy of the tumor is essential for accurate histological classification, with the embryonal subtype being the most prevalent in vaginal cases. Imaging studies, such as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, and computed tomography, CT, play a crucial role in determining the extent of local invasion and the presence of metastasis. A thorough staging evaluation is vital for treatment planning. 4. Treatment Approaches the management of vaginal embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma requires a comprehensive and collaborative effort involving pediatric oncologists, surgeons, radiation oncologists, and other healthcare professionals. The primary modalities include a combination of surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. Surgery aims at achieving complete tumor resection while preserving functional and anatomical integrity. Chemotherapy, often based on vincristine, actinomycin D, and cyclophosphamide, VAC regimen, targets systemic disease and reduces the risk of recurrence. Radiation therapy is employed based on the extent of the disease and the surgical outcome. V. Prognosis and follow-up. The prognosis for vaginal embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma varies with factors such as tumor size, extent of disease, and response to treatment influencing outcomes. Long-term follow-up is essential to monitor for late effects of treatment, potential recurrence, and the impact on reproductive and sexual health. Psychosocial support for both the patient and their family is a critical aspect of care. 6. Research and Future Directions Ongoing research aims to uncover the underlying genetic and molecular factors contributing to the development of vaginal embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. This knowledge may pave the way for targeted therapies, minimizing treatment-related morbidity and improving overall outcomes. Collaborative efforts within the medical and scientific communities are crucial to advancing our understanding of this rare malignancy. Conclusion Vaginal embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma poses significant challenges in diagnosis and management, requiring a multidisciplinary approach for optimal outcomes. A combination of surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy forms the cornerstone of treatment, with ongoing research shedding light on potential targeted therapies. Continued awareness, early detection, and comprehensive care are essential in providing the best possible outcomes for patients facing this rare and complex malignancy.